discussed in our previous class, in fungi, reproduction can take place in three forms. It could be vegetative reproduction, which could be in the form of budding, fragmentation and fission. And then there is asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. In this lecture, we would focus on the asexual reproduction. So asexual reproduction can occur in the following forms. So one is zoo spore zoo spore are thin uh, walled uninucleated structures which are formed from the zoosporangia the examples for each of these are important for example phytophthora or elbigo uh, elbugo the reproduction occurs as zoo spore sporangial spores where non flagellate spores are seen within the sporangia so this is the sporangia and within these there are spores but these spores are non flagellate mucor and rhizopus are good example the next is odia uh, odia is when there is excessive of water sugar or salt rhizopus is actually uh, an example for this so rhizopus reproduces by oidia or sporangial spores so here they multiply by the process of budding clemendospores is when the spores develop along the hyphae so this is the hyphae as you can see and along the hyphae spores develop this is because of the accumulation of protoplasm and a thick cell wall is secreted and this is known as clemendospore the next is conidia conidias are non motile they are thin walled they are exo uh, exogenous spores and they are seen at the top of the hyphae so at the top of the hyphae conidospores are formed and these are seen in penicillium aspergillus so these are common examples for this the next is ascospores very important they are again non motile the same as spirogospores so spirogospores sporangial spores are also non motile in the case of mucor and rhizopus and ascospores are also non motile they are produced in sacs and these sacs are known as ascus ascus in is in singular form asci in the plural form and the class of fungi which reproduces by this is ascomycetes the next next is basidomycetes again non motile uh, spores are seen they are exogenously formed uh, as an outgrowth and basidomycetes um, the class of fungi basidomycetes in our classification we have understood is which reproduces through basidospores the next is binucleate spores so in each of these as you can see there are two spores we call them as binucleate so these are dikaryotic spores which are meant for multiplying so here uh, punicia is a good example and here two spores are present together and we call it as binucleate spore so those are the common methods of asexual reproduction in fungi in our next lecture we will talk about sexual reproduction in fungi so stay tuned thanks for joining in